200 ancient giant skeletons unearthed in Cayuga, Canada. We have giants, ancient giants found all over the world. Unfortunately, archaeology in uh, North America is basically non-existent. I'm sure there's a lot of things to find if archaeologists had the money and funds and time to research things in, the United, in uh, Canada and the United States. Now, five or six feet below the ground were unearthed 200 giant skeletons, nearly all intact in their well conditions. Discoveries of these skeletons of a gigantic race often surface on various news articles and media and were therefore more puzzled to know what race these ancient mound builders belong to. This is uh, Monk's Mound in the United States. Now, about a century ago, an article appeared in the Toronto Daily Telegraph stating that in the township of Cayuga in the Grand River at the farm of a resident named Daniel Frattenberg, five or six feet below the ground were unearthed 200 skeletons, nearly all intact in their well conditions. So I guess it was a burial place there. The, discovered, the discoverers found a strange a string of beads around the neck of each of them, stone pipes in the jaws of several of them, and many stone axes and skinners to be scattered around in the dirt. The skeletons were gigantic, some of them even measured nine feet tall, and a few of them less than seven. Some of the thigh bones were six inches longer than any, than any usual human skeleton. And the farm had been cultivated for a century and was originally covered with a thick growth of pine trees. There was evidence from the crushed bones that a battle took place on that soil in ancient times, and these were some of the slain. Were these the remains of Indians or some totally other race? And who did fill this ghastly pit? Now we know even in ancient Greece, for example, in the Battle of Marathon, there was a there is a mound of the um, Athenian warriors that fought against the invading Persians. Of course, the Athenians won, and uh, they put them all with their uh, swords and armor and shields in the mound. There's about what a hundred or some odd of them there. So that's the Battle of Marathon Mound, and it could be that this is exactly the type of uh, usual ritual that was uh, done for the fallen warriors, place them all in their mounds. Now, some of the thigh bones were said were six inches longer than the usual human skeleton. Now, the Pioneer Society of Michigan in 1915 in Ontario, Canada, uh, it said, the article said on Wednesday last, Reverend Nathaniel Wardle, Messrs. Orin Wardle of Toronto and Daniel Frattenberg were digging on the farm of the latter gentleman, which is on the banks of the Grand River in the township of Cayuga. When they got to five or six feet below the surface, a, stray, uh, a strange sight met them, piled in layers, one upon and one on top of the other, some 200 skeletons of human beings perfectly nearly perfect around the neck of each being one uh, a being a string of beads they were also deposited in this pit a number of axes and skimmers made of stone in the jaws of several of the skeletons were large stone pipes one of which mr wardle took with him to toronto a day or two after this golgotha was unearthed these skeletons were those of men of gigantic stature some of them measuring nine feet very few of them being less than seven feet. Some of the thigh bones were found to be at least a foot longer than those at present known, and one of the skulls being examined completely covered the head of an ordinary person. Let's remember at that time, what, about a hundred years ago, I mean, men were, people were a lot shorter than they are today. Now, these skeletons, uh, the article writes, are supposed, or I wrote, the skeletons are supposed to belong to those of a race of people anterior to the Indians, the Native Americans, that is. Some three years ago, the article said, the bones of a mastodon were found embedded in the earth about six miles from this point. The pit and its ghastly occupants are now open to the view of any who may wish to make a visit there. Some people profess to believe that the locality of Frattenburg Farm was formerly an Indian burial site, Native American burial site, 
but the enormous stature of the skeletons and the fact that pine trees of centuries growth covered the spot goes far to disprove this idea. Did Frattenberg and his associates really unearth the remains of an ancient giant race lost in time? If so, where are those findings hidden today? So where are these skeletons today is the good question. And this is on Dish and News spot post. I please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.